Hello, hello, it's Obapa Afrakuma and I bring to you Obapa Afrakuma's kitchen. So in today's episode, I'm just going to share with you how I make my oven grilled mackerel, mackerel fish. So we all know that mackerel or salmon is a very oily fish, but it's also one of the tastiest fish that you can ever come across. So we are just going to add some flavors into this mackerel and make it so delicious. Stay Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe, like, share my videos to all your friends and family so that they can also have a hands on on this beautiful recipe. Alright family, so these are the ingredients we're going to be needing for our oven grilled mackerel fish And of course we need our mackerel or our salmon as we call it in Ghana I've got some lemons as well to clean this and then my seasoning or my spices I've got my fish seasoning some garlic um, Ginger of course some salt to taste. I've got one large onion and I'll be using the green Scotch bonnets as well for this recipe Going forward, I'm just going to clean my mackerel or my salmon with some lemons So this helps to take away any unpleasant smell from your fish So make sure you cut away all the unnecessary portions from your fish Take away the intestines and every unnecessary part from this fish Just to make it very easy and tasty to eat as well So you've just got to make sure that you're cleaning your fish very nicely. So as you can see, I'm washing this with some lemons just to take away any strong scented smell. So your mackerel has really got very strong smell. So make sure you wash this properly after um, and before, I mean, you add your seasonings to this. Okay, so as once this is done, um, I'm just going to make some incisions or some cuts on the on the fish um, just to um, enhance, you know, the spices or my seasonings to just go um, in every corner of this mackerel. As I said, um, mackerel, mackerel is one of the tastiest fish that you can ever th think about having. It's really, really delicious and it's, it's not time consuming as well to make this as well. So try your hands on and you will love this. If you haven't had mackerel before, just get into any supermarket of your choice and then try and get some mackerel and then do this recipe. And uh, trust me, you will love this recipe. So after making this um, limes or incisions on this, Fish. you can choose to do it anyhow you want it but this is how I'm going for it looks so good and perfect as I want it so I'm just going to go ahead to grind my seasonings this is my green scotch bonnets I've got um, my onions just right there I'm going to add my garlic my ginger and um, my fish seasonings and my salt everything is just going in and i'm going to begin to grind this and then that's going to be our um seasoning for our fish make sure i mean you you just you grind this with um an earthenware bowl or you can use a blender i mean to grind this as well So our seasoning is all done beautifully and I remember back in the days my mum used to say I sunk a mojiani air depa. So if you understand if you don't understand this, I'm just trying to say that um, um food that I've made from the Edward bowl are quite really really good. Um so um this tastes so delicious. I mean you can just have this, I mean, um seasoning with um a, your banku or anything and you will love it. So at the moment I'm just trying to I mean marinate um, 
my seasonings in with my fish and it's looking so good it smells so 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 good as well and um, so you can try your hands on this recipe and trust me you will love it so make sure you put all the seasonings in the corner all the incisions that you've made on this fish and trust me mm, you will love this after after it's done it's so beautiful so as you can see I'm just using my olive oil just to give it a bit more you know um, flavor as well on the on the fish and it is just ready to go into the oven now so as you can see it's all beautifully seasoned the infusion oh my god oh you cannot resist this you need to try this don't forget to subscribe like share my videos to all your friends and families as well so that they can have a hands-on on this recipe as you can see this is mm, looking all good and it's just ready to be in the oven so i'm just going to give it about just half an hour and mm, it will be all done this is looking good i can't wait to have some bangu kenke or whatever you can choose to have this achake or whatever with this recipe it is looking all good and it's all done and it's ready to be served mm, just look at that it's looking so 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 good trust me you will never you can never resist the taste of this so try your hands on and once you're trying your hands on don't forget to like and share this video to all your friends and families so that they can also enjoy this great recipe from Obapa Afrakumas kitchen I love you all so 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 much as you can see I am really digging into this uh, recipe and I hope you enjoy yours when you try your hands on I love you also so much stay blessed and take care of yourself bye bye